everyone. This is Melissa Armo. And tonight I wanted to talk to you about how to deal with stress. A lot of people think, well, trading, it seems very stressful. You're risking money. You know what? Trading is only as stressful as you make it. If you risk too much money, more than you can afford to lose, guess what? That's stressful. If you are over trading, guess what? That's stressful too. Focus, 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 focus. So when you are more relaxed with your trading, you can still make money, still make good profits, still do very, very well, still be profitable, still be getting somewhere with your learning curve if you're on a learning curve, if you're doing something new, and still be going up the ladder, making progress for yourself if you reduce the stress. So if you reduce stress in your trading and in your life, you're going to trade better. So what a lot of people do is they say, well, trading is very risky. It's just stressful taking risk. Well, there has to be some amount of money that you can risk in a trade that you would not find stressful. I don't know that. You need to know that. You can look at it as a percentage of your account. You can look at it as your experience level. Uh, you know, that's something that you can discuss with me if you, if you would like. But ultimately, there has to be some amount of money that you would feel comfortable with peace with risking because there is a benefit to taking risk in trades in the market. The benefit is that if you take a good trade, you can make profits. But many people trade poorly because they're so stressed and many people don't trade at all because they think that it's just stressful to trade. It's not stressful to trade when you know what you are doing and have assessed the odds. What do I mean? I mean, you either have high odds that something's going to work or you have low odds that something's going to work, okay? So you look at the odds. If you have something as high odds it's going to work, it doesn't mean 100% it's going to work, but it means most of the time it's going to work. Low odds means what? Most of the time it's probably not going to work. So you don't want to take a low odds trade. You want to take a high odds trade. That's why I developed a system that has 26 points and people say, well, that's a lot of things, Melissa. Yeah, it is. But if it rates 20 points or more per my 26-point golden gap rating system, guess what? That's high odds. Pretty high odds if something is 20 points. Very high odds. Whereas if something has under 20 points, low odds. So we don't do those things. Okay? So that's how I look at it. Also, don't risk more in a trade than you can afford to lose. And that's why I also put in stops. You can put in hard stops, limit order stops. They're not imaginary stops. They're real stops. Okay? And also, it'll help you stay with the trade until it goes on to work. Because if you take a trade and it goes negative before it goes on to be positive, you don't want to kill it right away. So you want to give it time. Sometimes stocks in time to wiggle and jiggle. Less stress will help you develop into a better trader. And ultimately, you will make more money. You will make more money if you are less stressed. So it's not about not taking risk. You can't get ahead in life. And you can't get ahead of the market. And you can't get ahead at all if you're not willing to take risk. You have to be comfortable with taking risk and taking chances and taking time and making financial investments in yourself in, some, in something like a class, which I charge for, in something like opening up a trading account that you have to put money aside and put it in an account for. And even the investments that you're making in the trades, even if it's for a short period of time, like a couple of minutes or one or two days. But the point is that keep the stress level down, therefore you will trade better. How do you do it? Only do one trade a day or two trades a day. Define your risk. Use stops. Focus on one strategy. Focus on one directional bias. Focus on one specific time of the day that you're training. Don't deviate. Focus on following someone that's a mentor, someone like me. Okay? Listen to what I'm saying. Don't make up your own rules. Learn a system. Follow that system. That's what I do. That's what I've been doing for 10 years. So this is a good advice. You, you can train and you can take risk in trading and in life and be and have low stress. Okay? Trading should not be stressful for you. If it is, you are you have no idea what you're doing. If you are trading and it's stressful for you, then there's you have two problems. Either A, your risk is way too big, or B, you don't know what you are doing. And if you don't know what you're doing, then you need to take a class like mine and learn how. And if you're risking too much money, then it's easy. Back it off. Divide it by half. Okay? Good advice for tonight. Have a great night, everyone. Email me at melissa.stockswish.com if you want more information on the Golden Gap course.